Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia presents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. According to the Armenian calendar, the period of fasting begins. By 2022, an online conference of Kachar Scientific Center will be held on February 20. If Azerbaijan starts destroying the protocols, we have the right to appeal to the UN Security Council, Monument Specialist. Relations with Armenia have a solid foundation. Minister of Foreign Affairs of Argentina, David Babayan, we will never give up our lands. The last blacksmith of Tigran Akert, belts worn by Western Armenian woman. According to the sacred tradition, Armenian fasting begins with the holiday of Eternal Days, which will last 36 days and will end on the New Year Easter Arek of the month of Arek Day. According to the sacred tradition, fasting is a strict restriction of nutrition. Usually from morning to the next morning you need to eat or in the morning and afternoon you need to take a limited diet. We are trying to at least give up animal food during the fasting period. The last five days of the fasting period, which according to the Armenian calendar, our additional days are extremely important to the clergy. Read the full material on our official website. By 2022, on February 20, at 5 p.m., an online conference on the topic of Kachar Scientific Center will be held on Facebook about some features of the application of scientific results in continuing modern challenges dedicated to the 16th anniversary of the creation of Scientific Center Kachar. After the opening speech of the founder of Scientific Center Kachar, candidate of historical sciences, associate professor Maher Haritsunyan, at an online press conference, you can ask the speaker questions and get answers to the questions. To participate in a press conference, you can join or pray write your questions on the page of Kachar Scientific Center in Facebook Live at the following link on our official website. Azerbaijan wants to destroy the Armenian protocols of Armenian monuments in the occupied territories as it has always done in these territories that have come under its control. This was stated by the Deputy Director of Foundation of the Study of Armenian Architecture, Rafi Kortoshan, referring to the statement of Minister of Culture of Azerbaijan, Anar Karimov, that a working group has been created for the Albania of Armenian monuments. Rafi Kortoshan noted that there have been a list of Armenian monuments and churches of Artsakh as well as as photos of all. According to the monument specialist, if the Azerbaijan working group acts and we have the facts, the Armenian set can take more effective steps. The UN Security Council is obliged to make decisions on unrealized decisions of the Hague country. If necessary, you need to contact the UN Security Council, he said. Argentina was included in a list of top 10 countries with the largest investment flows directed to Armenia. Based on the existing potential in both farms, there are reasonable expectations that it is possible to increase the volume of trade. The political dialogue is developing with a firm determination to find new areas of cooperation. This was stated by the Minister of Foreign Affairs, International Trade of Worship of Argentina, Santiago Andres Cafiero. Armenia and Argentina celebrate the 30th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relation this year. Argentina positively assesses the bilateral relations with Armenia, which have a solid foundation and are based on long-term tradition of friendship and cooperation between our peoples. In this context, the political dialogue is developing, with our will to constantly deepen these ties and look for new areas of cooperation. There are two conditions for the return of Azerbaijan refugees to Artsakh. This was stated by the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the Republic of Artsakh, David Babayan. According to him, first of all, all political problems should be resolved. This is the recognition of Artsakh, first of all, by Azerbaijan. Secondly, Armenian refugees should also be able to return to Baku and other cities of Azerbaijan from where they were forcibly deported. It cannot be otherwise, David Babayan stressed, adding that since the first war, people who lost their homes in 44-day war have added to the refugee problem. Answering the question about the possibility of the occupation of Shushi and Hadrut, the minister noted that the issue is always on the agenda, as the issue of Shahuman, Getashen and Martini regions occupied by Azerbaijan. We believe that sooner or later it will happen, but you have to work. I can say one thing, we will never give up our land, David Babayan stressed. 
On the territory of Western Armenia, 1,500,000 Armenians became victims of genocide of 1915 and some survived Armenians were deported to different regions on the destruction of the government. In one of those centers, the last Armenian living in Tigran Akert country of Liege left after the earthquake of 1975. Armenian craftsmen who, along with many other crafts, has a reputation of blacksmithing, taught this profession to many of Lija. In the future, many foreign masters had to express their gratitude to the Armenian masters, thanks to whom they received a good profession and were able to live a comfortable life. One of them is a master named Aziz Sapan. However, forging is not a demand as a job in occupation Western Armenia today. According to Sapan, it is considered a hard and unprofitable job. In addition, the cost of renting the territory has always increased, which negatively affects the population of the country with an already difficult economy. Hamlet of Sepian, a collector of Armenian art and other unique samples, posted a video on his Facebook page and wrote, The belts worn by Western Armenian women at the beginning of 18th and 20th century. It should be noted that in Western Armenia, Armenian women wore belts made of various materials and ornaments, which in some cases emphasized their social status. For example, Ivas Purakan, silver glided decorated with glaze zones made according to a two-pair image, were mainly distributed. Kings and other high-ranking officials wore diamond belts. Magical properties were attributed to the belt. It was used as malignant, auspicious talisman. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song. The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.